Hi everybody, it's Joe here from Yorkshire Camps. Now, I hope you've been watching the Esther videos that have been appearing on YouTube over the last few weeks, um, because what this video is, is a chance for you to rack your brains and test your knowledge um, and see how much you've been learning, because this is a quiz based on those first three episodes. And you might struggle to believe this, but I've even managed to convince some of the characters from the episodes to come in and help by asking the questions. So we're going to have Queen Esther, we're going to have Mordecai, we're going to have Haman, and we're even going to have King Xerxes himself help us out by asking some of the questions. So if you haven't seen any of the episodes yet, pause this video, go away, watch them and come back ready for the quiz, or even if you just want a bit of a refresher before you do the quiz, go away, watch them, come back when you're ready. Okay? And then it's really up to you. You can just join in by saying the answers out loud as we go through the questions, or you could grab a pen and paper, write them down as you go along, um, and then send us a picture on Facebook and we'll send you a, a, a prize in the post. Isn't that exciting? Okay, so without further ado, it's over to His Royal Highness King Xerxes for the first question of the quiz. Hello, I'm King Xerxes. In the first episode, why did I replace Vashti as Queen? Okay, pause the video, write down what you think the answer is, and then Xerxes will reveal it. That's right, she refused to come and dance with me, so I thought I'd get a better queen. <laughs> Thanks for that, King Xerxes. Did you get it right? Over to Queen Esther for the next question. Hi everyone, it's Queen Esther. After Queen Vashti was banished from the land, I was chosen as queen. Why was this? Out of hundreds of other women who could have been chosen as queen, I was chosen? Why is this? Who was working in the background? It was God. I couldn't see it at the time. He was in control of everything, making sure Mordecai and I were in the right places to help later on. Great, thanks. Actually, speaking of Mordecai, here he is with the next question. Oh, hi everybody, it's Mordecai here. I have a question for you. So in the first episode, I saved the king's life. I, I overheard a plot to kill him um, and I warned him about it so that he was safe. And I didn't get any kind of reward or recognition or prize for doing that. But what I did was written down somewhere very important. Can you remember where it was written down? That's right, yeah. It was written down in the King's Diary. And that might not seem very important, but... We'll find out in the next episode, episode 4, coming out on Friday, just why that was so significant. Great. And I think you've got another question for us? Oh, yeah, I do have another question for you. Um, so in episode 2, what did I do that made Haman so angry? That's right. Yeah, I refused to bow down to him. See, Haman had made it a law that everybody had to bow down to him, but I only bow down to God, definitely not to wicked men like Haman. Awesome. Well done, Mordecai. Haman sure is wicked. And here he is with our next question. <laughs> here I am, Haman himself. So I was really annoyed with Mordecai. I hated him. He did not want to bow down to me. So what did I decide to do to get revenge with him? That's right, see, I knew that Mordecai was a Jew, so I decided, you know what, let's kill all the Jews in the empire. <laughs> One evil plan. How are you getting on with the questions? There are three more to go. Let's head back to Queen Esther. Hello again. When I heard about Haman's plan to kill my people, I had to go to the king, but I knew it was so dangerous. What did the king have to hold out? for my life to be spared. That's right, it was his golden staff or scepter. But thankfully God was in control and my life was spared because the king had put his golden staff out. 
what a relief that must have been. God was in control. Back to King Xerxes for the next question. When Esther came in, I offered her anything she wanted, up to half the kingdom. What did she ask for? A banquet? With Haman? What a strange request. We've got one more question. So, at the banquet, me, the king and Esther had a really good time. There's some great food there. And then the king asked her again what she would like. Anything up to half his kingdom. So what did she ask for? That's right, she asked for me and the king to go to another banquet with her the next day. Another banquet? Why does Esther keep requesting to have banquets with Haman, who's trying to destroy her people? I guess we'll have to wait until the next episode to find out what happens. Well, hi again everybody, I hope you enjoyed the quiz. I'll tell you what, I've never noticed how good looking Mordecai is. He's, he's a good looking man, is Mordecai. Um, anyway, well, um, don't forget to send your answers back in. Um, you send us a picture of them. I know we gave you the answers as we went along, but we'll trust you. And no matter how badly or well you've done, if you send us a picture of your answers, um, we'll send you a prize in the post. Isn't that exciting? Um, other than that, keep an eye out for the next Esther video, episode 4, which is coming out on Friday about 10 o'clock. Um, and see you then. Bye.